of August 6th, Japanese time, the first atomic bomb hit an enemy target. This has to be the most famous building in Hiroshima and one of the most famous in Japan. But many people outside Japan think the A-bomb dome is the only thing that survived in the middle of Hiroshima after the atomic explosion. That simply is not true. So this actual tram car survived the atomic blast, was restored after the war, put back into operation. And in fact, this car was running on the streets of Hiroshima in regular service until just a few years ago. It's now used for tourist rides. But the tram system itself is another remarkable story because they got the trams up and running on part of the system just three days after the atomic bomb exploded here. So the trams are a symbol of rejuvenation and survival for the people who live here. Quite a lot of other large buildings in the middle of Hiroshima actually survived, especially if they were made of reinforced concrete. And one of them was the Bank of Hiroshima. It's just down the street over here. So actually, this is the Bank of Japan building. And it's only around 400 meters from the hypercenter of the explosion. This building survived despite temperatures which would have risen to 3,000 degrees. Everything and everybody around here was incinerated. But amazingly, inside this building, because of its thick walls, some people survived. After the bombing, a lot of people here thought that Hiroshima would be an atomic wasteland, that nothing would grow here for 50 or maybe 70 years. But that too was wrong. These are the grounds of Hiroshima Castle, and all of the buildings here were completely wiped out in the explosion. But look at the trees. When you come here, you can't help thinking, well, some of these trees must be older than 70 years. And indeed, they are. This one is a survivor. Not only has it survived, it seems to have thrived, and there are many trees in Hiroshima like this, and they are an incredible testament to the resilience of nature. 